Always two there are. A master and an apprentice. What is your destiny, young one? To all the geeks and nerds out there, welcome back to another episode of Beyond Logic. And this is episode 98, only two away from the big one, from the big 100. And uh, we've got a, you know, a small job to do today. We're starting off digging a, uh, a tiny tunnel. This tunnel is uh, going to be 13 by 4 by 457. And that is going to be a total of 23,764 blocks that we've got to mine away. <laughs> and that is what I'm doing right now, uh, because this is going to lead to our ice farm. We, uh, we need a better way to get there because you know if we want to travel around our world we need to make sure that we've got all our transport systems all in place and this is the last the last one I think the last uh, good place we need to get to and uh, yeah I want to get it all sorted out for episode 100 so uh, if you know you know if we end up going around our world in episode 100 we need a good way to get to all of our places so this is the first thing is to dig this massive tunnel <laughs> and when we've done that we are going to head on over to the Death Star because I've done some work off camera which I want to show you but also we need to build a new farm because we need resources. So let's finish this tunnel up and then get on over to the Death Star. And it is finally done. Check this tunnel out. <laughs> that, uh, that actually wasn't too bad. Uh, Netherrack is not too hard to break. And uh, yeah, this uh, went pretty smoothly. I had a few gas to, to deal with along the way, but uh, this is the portal we want to get to right here. And this takes us to our ice spikes biome, which is where we have our ice farm. And yeah, at the moment, it's not very easy to get there. So that's what we're going to work on today, as I said earlier. So the tunnel is done, which is good news. And um, now it's time to start, our, start some work on our farm because we need to get that built up pretty quickly so we can leave it running and it's a ghost oh look at that pro skills <laughs> where was i what was i saying yes we need to go to the death star because we need some resources for this uh for this transport system um it's something we've built before we've built one over there which is just through that gap right there but uh, this one's going to be a bit different this one's going to be straight and not diagonal but anyway enough about that we'll talk about that a bit later on but let's get over to the death star because we've got a contraption to build but before we start building our brand new contraption in the Death Star, um, I've been busy with the villagers, as you can see here. I've uh, been doing some trading and doing some swapping out of villagers. Uh, we've still got one slot left, but I've been trying to get um, a set of good villagers here for trading. And uh, we're doing pretty well. <laughs> so we've got a mending guy here um, with some other bits and pieces. And the silk touch, feather falling. And what I'm trying to do here, look, I'm breaking. Um, I'm not worrying too much about the levels that I trade for because with our with our zombie that's down here, we can get a very cheap trade. So the level doesn't really matter. We can, we can combine books. And and I've been doing a lot of it and I've got a lot of books. <laughs> Look at all this. Mending for days. I'm breaking three for days. We have got loads, loads of good stuff. Silk touch, everything. I mean, I'm not going to go through all the books, but you get the idea. We have got a lot of stuff, which is really good. So uh, that's going to stand us in good stead. And uh, I've been using this green glass here to uh, kind of mark the villages I'm going to keep. And these ones are potentially for the chop. Um, if I come across another looting guy that's got some some better second and third uh, books, then uh, I can swap him out. And that's what I've been doing. But yeah, that's going pretty well. And on top of that, I've also been doing some building. I've got a new corridor here. Now, you probably won't realize that this is new, but this is a new corridor I've added to this level. We didn't have that one before. And I've also added one on the level above, level 10. And uh, with those two in place, and plus the one we did last episode, we only have three more of these these uh, these uh, to do. So we are looking good on that front. Now then, down to the project for today. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. One more thing down here, quick. Let's <laughs> zoom down here. I've done the, done the roof, the ceiling of the kelp farm. So I did a bit more AFK and got all the kelp I needed. So this is also done and finished and we can uh, hop into that as well. Let's go down here and there it is. There is the, uh, the ceiling of this place. So this room is all done. So yeah, all very good. Very good, very good. All right, so just wanted to show you all of that stuff that I've been doing. I had a few hours spare. Well, quite a few hours spare. So I thought I'd get cracking with that stuff. But let's get on with uh, the build for today. And you've probably realized that uh, we're going to build in a piston bolt over to our ice farm. And uh, we've already got a piston bolt already, but I think it's time to get another one. This one's going to be a straight one, which I've not done before. But over here, we need some resources. And in particular, we need cobblestone and so over here we're going to build a cobblestone generator with a blast chamber that's going to blow up a load of uh, blocks and give us some cobblestone and yeah it's going to be right here so I've been doing some measuring so that's pretty straightforward and we are going to use um some other someone else's design so what I try and do in this series uh, if you probably realized is that I try and do my own designs where possible but today is going to be an exception I'm not going to build my own designs at all <laughs> today is going to be pretty much sponsored by Il Mango because we have got not one not two 
not three, but four contraptions by Il Mango that we are going to build up today. So yeah, this episode is officially sponsored by Il Mango. So thanks, dude, for all of that. And yeah, let's get on with it. So let's get building uh, with this uh, first one, and then we can get cracking with the uh, with the fist and bolt. We interrupt this broadcast for an important message from our sponsor. This episode of Beyond Logic is officially sponsored by Il Mango Industries. Check out my YouTube channel for more amazing contraptions. This could go very badly wrong indeed. A TNT duper inside the Death Star. <laughs> what could go wrong, huh? Well, I guess we better give it a try. But first, let me give you a quick tour. Um, let me show you what I've been up to. So yeah, this is the uh, the cobble generator from uh, Il Mango, as I said. And of course, all of the links to the uh, all these builds are going to be in the description. So uh, this is it up here. And the uh, TNT is going to dupe and fall down and the uh, the stone gets generated on this side and also this side gets pushed into the center. We'll see it all work in a second. And the TNT will blow up and all the blocks fall into the water over here. And then underneath, I've got this thing, which is also an Il Mango design. This is his uh, tileable sugar box loader. And yeah, we've got quite a few here because this thing kicks out 120,000 cobble an hour. <laughs> so even with uh, these many sugar box loaders, it's not enough to to get all of the all of the stone so uh, i've got this fire here to destroy anything else that doesn't make it in and yeah this uh this sugar box loaders load up all the stone into them and then when they get full up they'll break go into this water stream and this water stream here goes all the way here and nice and conveniently as it happens goes into this bubble column that already existed and this is what we have already that brings items from the falcon that way uh, into our story system so they're going to go into here go up and into the story system, which is just over there. So I need to add a, um, a silo over there or you know, a slice for, for cobblestone. So we'll go into that in a second, but I want to give this thing a try. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. So two two builds down from uh, the sponsor of the show. <laughs> so uh, let's turn it on. And in fact, the, the uh, on off switch is over this way. So let's see if I can do some pro landing. Yes, <laughs> getting better, getting better. All right, let's see if this works. Please. Please. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, that is looking very good. Looking very good. Let's go over this way, see if we can get a better vantage point. Okay, let's check this out. Oh yes, look at that. I think it's working. I think it's actually working. Look at this, here comes the TNT. <laughs> okay, good stuff, good stuff. So that is project number one and two done. So the reason we need all the cobblestone, of course, is because of all the pistons we need. We need, I think it's something like 18,000 pistons. Not much. <laughs> oh my gosh, why do I do this? But anyway, we need to leave this running for a bit so then we can uh, make, our, make our pistons, but I do need to go and get some wood, but uh, I've got a plan for that. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. We are joined by my good friend, Logical Geekbot, and he is going to help us out. Isn't that right? 
Okay, good. <laughs> because yeah, as I said, I need some uh, I need some logs, some wood. So I'm going to go off to the overworld and uh, go and get some. And while I'm over there, I thought maybe you could you could kind of just stand around here and just make sure this thing is still working all right. Maybe do some filming if you want, you know. But uh, you know, don't go snooping around. Don't go up to any mischief. Just uh, just stick here. Is that all right? Okay, cool beans. Thanks very much. I can't believe it's nearly two years and I haven't got a proper tree farm yet. <laughs> this is something. I'm going to have to deal with pretty soon because uh, chopping down all these trees is uh, not much fun. But uh, it's going all right. I think um, it shouldn't take too long before I've got all the wood I need. But uh, I'm a little bit worried about Logical Geekbot. That little droid is going to cause me a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think it sells at that. And now it's a case of just grinding away and uh, building up all of these items that we need. So doing these pistons and, you know, it's slow work, but we're getting there. So we need, I think I said 18,000 before, I actually, eight, I actually meant 1,800. <laughs> so that's just over a shocker box full of pistons. So we're almost halfway there on that. And also the same amount of uh, repeaters as well. So yeah, just got some grinding to do, getting this stuff together. And then we'll go over to the nether and we'll start construction where we're going to use um, two more uh, contraptions from our sponsor, Hill Mango. <laughs> oh, that advert, brilliant, I love it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just going to carry on with this and I'll meet you over there. But uh, yeah, it just does feel a bit weird over here. It feels like someone's been going through my stuff. Things have been moved around. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But anyway, let me get crafting and then I'll meet you over in the nether. This is a daunting sight. That looks like quite a long way <laughs> into the distance. That is our tunnel. But uh, yeah, we need to uh, start placing some blocks, I guess. It's that time. We've, uh, I've got the resources down and I've uh, created a little wall here of cobblestone with all my shocker boxes behind it just to protect it in case we get any uh, any ghasts that turn up and uh, decide to shoot me. I don't want to lose any items. But basically, this is what we need to do uh, on both sides. It's a case of laying down these pistons in this kind of formation. So alternate pistons like this and then some glowstone in between to make sure we don't get any spawns and also to light up the place. And then blocks next to the pistons with repeaters and that is about it and we'll get some redstone on this side to fire in some signals but basically we need to do this pattern all the way down <laughs> then we've got to turn the corner and then go all the way that way so just a lot of block placing really and uh, obviously you see these rails here are straight that's not right they need to be curved so we need to curve all of these rails as well now we'll come on to that later um, but yeah I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to focus on getting the floor done uh, in both directions and then we can worry about curving the rails next oh boy here we go <laughs> a lot of block placing Many blocks have been placed and we are ready for the next stage and I'm over here by the portal and you can see that I've boxed all of this in so we're nice and safe uh, from any gas that might be flying around outside and I've also added down um, as well as obviously the rails and all the other blocks I've also added some slabs in the center that is to stop ghasts from spawning inside the tunnel so hopefully we should be good to go because now it is the delicate point uh, Oh, hello. <laughs> now it is the delicate point where uh, we're going to start curving these rails. Oh, look, there's a... Dudes, get out of here. And here's the last one. You're out of here. <laughs> right. I was. Uh, let's get back to where I was before. I was so really interrupted by those, uh, by those magma creams. So over here, 
is a contraption. So this is a flying machine and this is going to curve our rails for us. Again, this is of course an Ilmago design, our sponsor for the episode. And this is going to go along and curve all the rails in alternate directions. So we've got one curved here like this and one like that. And it's going to do it all the way along right to the very end. So that's going to save us some work. And it's important the way that these rails are curved because we're going to have a piston here on this block. And it's important that the, the curvature right here is next to the piston. So yeah, spend a bit of time to <laughs> work out uh, how to place this. But I think all I need to do now is to update this observer and then this thing should if uh hopefully i've built it right should go fly off and start curving rail so let's uh place a block here let's see what happens okay okay good 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 it's doing something and the rails are curved yes it's working <laughs> oh brilliant oh man I was worried about this. <laughs> so uh, at the other end, I've placed down some, some furnaces to stop this. So hopefully they will work. They should do. Now I'm just going to babysit this till it gets all the way to the end. And uh, yeah, just to make sure it all works and doesn't come unloaded. But look at this. It looks like a pair of feet. <laughs> There's like some legs walking towards me. <laughs> and here it comes. It's almost there. Now we better get out of the way before we get squashed. But uh, hopefully these, these uh, furnaces that are here will stop this from going. And then we should be good, I hope. Fingers crossed. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, let's get rid of that. Break this. Break, 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 break. Hello? Hello? Break. Okay, there we go. A furnace did it. <laughs> Wow, that was hard to stop. Okay, so I need to, I've done a bit of thinking about the transition, so hopefully this is all gonna work out. But so we should have some curved rails. Okay, I think that last one's okay. I think we just need to have the curved rail, this one here, I think that's all right. Okay, okay, I need to do a little bit more measuring and work out how we're gonna do the transition from one direction to the next. So let me go away, work that out, and then we can get fly machines going on all these other rails and get all the other ones curved. And then yeah, we'll be all well on our way. And as I build up this next flying machine and also piston bolt, I thought there's a couple of things I could mention. So first of all, uh, next weekend is uh, Minecon Live, which is the, the Minecraft uh, uh, yearly event. And uh, yeah, what our, our friends over at Cycraft, which includes our episode sponsor, Il Mango, uh, the squirrel himself, they're gonna be on a community panel and that's gonna include Methods, Il Mango, as I said, uh, Myron, Panic, and also Nembon. So that is gonna be super interesting and very cool indeed. Those guys are in an official Minecraft event. So hopefully we'll get some more technical <laughs> Minecraft uh, exposure to, uh, to all, all the peeps. So that's going to be really good. And the, also the other thing I want to mention is that um, we've got episode 100 coming up and I do sort of refer to that quite a bit. And the reason for that is that I'm pretty proud of what we've accomplished as a channel. Um, that represents two years of hard work and getting weekly episodes out over that time, which is uh, not so easy. But uh, yeah, that is pretty good. And look at this, a gas that spawned. And I thought those rails would stop it, but it uh, turns out it doesn't. And there's uh, just a sheer luck that uh, if we look over here that uh, there was no rails destroyed otherwise we'd have had to redo all of this but uh, I managed to uh, I managed to wall myself off so he couldn't see me and shoot any more any more fireballs and then uh, tried to make a quick a quick escape a swift escape with an enderpearl and then uh, just had a quick peek around the corner to see what he was up to and then flew away so he could despawn and then I could go back and make my repairs and then finish up this piston bolt it is time Time for the first test. So, yep, I've built up the first one and done the uh, the transition at the end, the uh, the, uh, the corner, and also right at the very end, the uh, the uh, the part where we come off. And I've done the loading station on this side. So when we do the piston bolt coming this way, when the minecart breaks, it will go into this hopper and should restock this dispenser, which is right here. So I think I think I've done it right, but I've not tested it yet. So this is the very first time. Obviously, a lot can go wrong. So let's see what happens. Let's put this minecart down here. Hop in it. Press this button and fingers crossed. Oh yes, we're going, we're going. Right, the next big test is, are we going to uh, turn the corner properly? That was a little bit of work, <laughs> I must admit. Oh, oh no, what happened here? Uh oh, uh oh, right, let's investigate. Okay, there's somehow a double piston here. I'm not quite sure how that's happened. <laughs> how did I do this? All right, let's do this carefully. I need to be very careful not to break the rails. Okay, good. Now let's deal with this and this. Put that back there. No, not that way. Oh, this is so delicate. Okay, this way. This way work. Go. Okay. I think that should have repaired that. The rails look good. 
All right, let's go back to the start. Let's try this again. Okay, test number two, and the minecart is already here for us. It came up through the uh, dispenser, so that's good. So that's working. So let's hop in and let's try this again. Take two. So hopefully we'll make it all the way to the end. Wow, this business is so noisy. Yeah, so the real test now is the uh, is the corner transition. If we go smoothly from one to the other. Uh oh, is this the same place? What is going on? Okay, third time lucky. I've gone along the whole piston belt and made sure I've not done anything wrong. There was a few carpets uh, on this on this glowstone, and that, that was the problem, I think. So hopefully we should be good this time. Let's go. <laughs> hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, yeah, so as I said before, the transition here is the real thing I'm interested in because that took a long time to get everything right, I think. But I think it's good. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, brilliant. Transition works. Oh, no, there's a pigman in the way. Dang it. Oh, we're going through him. That's all right. And hopefully let's see if the end works. Oh, yes, we got kicked off. Brilliant. And hopefully down here we've got, there it is, a minecart in a hopper. That's ready to go into the load station for this side. All right, so that is uh, <laughs> piston bolt number one done. <laughs> um, yeah, we still need to obviously uh, do some decorating and stuff and make sure no pigmen can spawn on the other blocks. But uh, yeah, this is looking all right. All right, so I guess it's more grind, <laughs> more placing blocks, more flying machines. Oh man, let's get this done. And we're literally on the final straight of this project. Uh, this tunnel here leads over to uh, the portal just that way. And I want to show you where I'm up to because I've done, completed this this tunnel all the way down. And we've got obviously got all the uh, the curved rails and whatnot all over here. That's all done. But I thought it'd be interesting just to show you this part. So this has been a little bit uh, tricky just to get right, but I think it's going to work out. So obviously I've built up another flying machine to go this way uh, to curve all of these rails right here. But over here, this is where the uh, where the uh, the transition is between uh, this, obviously this piston bolt that goes around here and into this one. And there's a little bit of finagling you need to do with the rails because there's going to be a rail that goes over here and it's going to have to curve and we don't want the, the rails to connect and stuff. So I've had to, I've done a bit of testing and creative and there's probably a better way but I've found that if you put some rails across here then this one over here won't join and uh, break because obviously we want to have this have this one curved now um obviously I've got to build the fly machine over this piston bolt right here and I found that when I broke the carpets here to not, so they didn't stick it updated this and it's moved over a couple of blocks so we've already curved a couple of uh a couple of the uh, the rails right there so hopefully this is all going to work out I've tried to be very careful so I don't make a mistake so I think we're good, but uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I think we probably won't get to decorating today. I hoped we would, but we might have to do that another time. But I'm thinking what we can do here is to make this spawn proof is if we get some ice and put it down this row and also the one over there, that means there won't be any spawnable blocks at all because we'll either have the glowstone rails or the carpets or of course the, uh, the, the repeaters. So that's the plan. So on the final straight, hopefully we can get this done. So let's fire this, uh, let's fire this, um, this fly machine off and hopefully this will be the last of it. Off it goes. <laughs> yes, and the rails are looking good. All right, that's good. Oh, there is one problem, and that is that all of these, um, all of these glowstone are in the wrong, wrong are in the wrong place. I need to put glowstone in here and in here. So this is going to be a little bit risky with the rails. I should have done that first probably, but uh, yeah, got a bit carried away <laughs> with the flying machine. So let's just babysit this and get this piston bolt finished. We are almost there. I've been placing a lot of blocks. We've got uh, these two all done pretty much. Just got to do this transition, which is what I'm working on at the moment. And this is the, the last, the fourth of the uh, El Mango videos that I'm going to point you to. Link in the description, of course. Um, he's got a really good video showing uh, all, the, all sorts, sorts of bits of pieces about piston bolts and in particular um, how to do diagonal ones and straight ones and also the transitions between all the kind of different types. So whether you're going left or right, going straight to diagonal, diagonal to straight. Um, yeah, it's all in that video. So go and check that out. This is where I've got this stuff from. And the last thing I need to do here is to worry about this where I really don't want this if this rail here uh, connects down here then we're in big trouble because we've got to redo all of this again <laughs> so hopefully this is going to go well uh, I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> because yeah I don't want to redo all this <laughs> it's a lot of work so let's um let's make sure we know what we're doing so what we're going to do here is before I do it I'm going to talk through it uh, really for myself <laughs> is we just want to have a rail just on top here connecting to this one and it's going to curve that way going to curve to the left without affecting this one right here. So I've got these ones down here. So I think if I break this one and this one, put those back, now put a block here and then get our rail. Hopefully this should connect to that. Yes. Now we need to break this. Yes. Okay, that's it. We've done it. 
<laughs> okay. Oof. <laughs> I'm actually sweating. <laughs> I really didn't want to do doing all this work. All right, okay, that is good. So I just need to dig down here and finish off the transition. It's a bit of redstone that's got to go underneath here. Some pistons and some uh, observers and bits and pieces, but uh, I won't bore you with that. But it's going to end up looking something like this, where we end up getting pushed over through here and that way. So yeah, just got to do that. And then we can give this thing a full test. And now it's time for a full end-to-end -end test. I think we are pretty much done. But a couple of things first of all, so I started putting down some ice with some buttons on to stop uh, spawns of the pigmen because they're going to get in the way um, if there's too many of them. But then I decided actually we're going to be doing some decorating around here and I'm probably going to be putting blocks on top of this so that's probably going to be a waste of time. So I thought actually I'm not going to do that right now because uh, let's, uh, let's save some effort. But uh, these things should be all wired up now and working and uh, one more thing is I made a boo-boo. I made a mistake. Let's have a look in these whole choker boxes. There's a lot of pistons left over. And also a lot of repeaters. <laughs> so I've uh, used up all of my redstone supplies. So this is the last of my redstone right here. Got a few more blocks here as well, but that's it. So I'm going to, have to do some AFK at the, at, the, at the witch farm. But yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake. So I've used up some resources I didn't need to, but let's give this thing a test. I think this is going to be pretty cool. So let's see if we can go all the way around from here and back again. Check this out. Here we go. Right, we're coming up to the corner, I think. Let's see how this goes. Yes, still working. That's good news. Oh, brilliant. This is really cool. And now we're coming up to the other end, I think. And there we go. Yeah, we dropped off. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Right. Let's go over to uh, this side. I need to relight that portal. I had to break it because I had to maneuver stuff with the flying machine and whatnot. But anyway, let's give this one a try as a minecart waiting for us. Off we go. <laughs> oh, these things are so good. So much fun. Especially in F5. <laughs> Look at this. So come up to the transition, round they go. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. This this is the life. AFK travel in the nether. And we're coming to the end now, so hopefully, yes, there we go. We get plopped off and that's it. All good. <laughs> All right, so that is about it. So that was episode 98. Only uh, one more to go. <laughs> so uh, I've got a few plans for the next episode. So um, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, the, the big one, 100, is coming. So uh, I hope you can look forward to that. And obviously, just before we finish up, uh, a big thank you to Mango for uh, for spending the time to create that little advert for us. That was really cool and a bit of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, then please hit the like button. And if you're new, then feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, then get it in that comment section. All right, my geeks. Until next time, I will see you later. Yeah.